Yes, hello. Uh, today I'm going to make, going to record a short tutorial on how you can get all your analytics, CRM, and media data into Google BigQuery. There's a couple of steps involved. Uh, the main focus will be around the data pipelines to BigQuery. So let's start. First of all, uh, we need to connect the data, meaning the channels we have, Facebook ads, HubSpot, Salesforce, Google Analytics, any data source we have. To get started there, we head uh, onto our platform here, where we then uh, authenticate the various sources. Uh, as mentioned, I have uh, already done that uh, for this for this example, so we're not going too much into the setup of uh, the data sources themselves, but we're rather focusing on what happens, what happens next. So a prerequisite will, of course, be that you have authenticated your channels. Uh, it could be anything from CRM, media, and analytics data. So that is step one. Now. Step two is then pushing the data into BigQuery. And for this, we have two options. <laughs> option one is the more boring option, which is a manual JSON upload, meaning we upload a file manually um, via export and import. And option two is the automated data upload. I will quickly show option one, but I guess if you want to automate your data pipelines, you would rather focus on option two. So let's be quick with option one. Option one, basically, I go to, to the dashboard, which I get after I've onboarded all my data sources. This is now a sample data set. And what I can do here is I can click on Explore Chart. And then on any slice in a dashboard, I can get a JSON file which looks like this. I click on it, and then this is, this is a sample file. Now, I'm going to save that on my desktop. So now I'm switching to BigQuery. So now what, now what I can do here is I have uh, created a sample, um, sample database. I can then say here, create table. And yeah, then I can basically get a data set name set with attribution data test. And I would like to have an upload here. And then I select here JSON NL, browse for the file, which is in my desktop, open it. And yeah. And that's pretty much it. Now I need to tick somewhere to make sure that the schema is auto detected. That's pretty much it. Um, I will need to, of course, select the table name. So we'll call this option one. Then I click create. So now the table will be created and Just create this table. You can see that I have the data set which I had over here available in BigQuery. So that is option one. Now let's continue to option two which is the automated data upload. So this gets a little bit more complex. Now what we basically do is we create data from an API in the, in the blog post you will see on how to easily get your own API URL with your data set. And then in step two, we transform the data from JSON into ND JSON. Step three is we push the data into BigQuery. And then step four is where we set up the scheduling because we want our data to be fresh. So whenever, whenever there is fresh data, we want to get uh, the data pushed into BigQuery. 
So let's start. The first step, load data from API. So now we switching to the, the cloud shell here. Uh, I can just get a cloud shell opened over here. And now um, I'm having my API URL. Here it comes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, curl this. Um, meaning I'm loading the data via curl into an output which is called attribution data.json. So now here we see that uh, this is a larger data set. It has been loaded. And now as a next step, I need to normalize that data from JSON into ndjson. I'm doing this transformation with the following command. It's also available in the block. And now I basically uh, converted that data set. So now um, the data is in the right format to be uh, pushed into BigQuery. And now the next step, I will add it into, into the table. Here comes the command. So now uh, the data upload is done. And what I have done here is I use BQ for BigQuery, then load and then replace because every time, like for now it's, it's manual run, but in the future, whenever uh, the, the command is run, I want to replace the data, the data set and uh, delete the previous data. Otherwise we will have duplicates. That's yeah, we don't want that. Um, second flag I put here is auto detect. Again, that's so the, the schema of the database is loaded directly from the file. And then basically I specified the file, which was the output from the previous command. Now, if we look here, this data was stored into attribution data, my data. So now, here I can just change my command quickly I'll show you that the data is there so now you will see here uh, the data set this is now 11,000 rows which is um, it's arriving here so now that's uh, basically how to push the data in now we want to automate this whole process and the way we automate it is basically with having a small virtual machine. Now this cloud shell here, it only runs uh, on demand, basically when you're logged in. But what we want to have is basically, it's called a cron cron job, and we want to run the export and the refresh of the data pipelines in a, in a, planned, or in a planned manner. And the example I'm going to show is every eight hours. So now, in Google's cloud platform. I'm also going to add these details into the blog post. There is basically a free virtual machine. If you go into the compute engine, you can find uh, the free plan. It's, it's called a machine type, which is called F1 micro. And I already set that up here. It's important that, of course, this, this machine has access to, to BigQuery. So you need to specify this as a that, uh, to get the access rights while set up. And once you're done, you basically can then go SSH into the machine. So now we connect into the machine and then we have a terminal here. And the only purpose of this machine is basically to run, um, to run this cron, cron task, which is basically pushing the data every eight hours. Now there is two or three commands I need to run. One is uh, installing a tool called JQ which is also in the, um, in the blog post. I'm going to explain it there. And secondly, what we also want to do is we want to add what is called a cron tab. Or we want to cron tab entries. And in here, I've already set it up. You can see here. Um, now, every eight hours, uh, we run this command, which I ran manually before. And the minute after, we run the transformation into the right uh, JSON format. And as a third step, we refresh the data. Uh, so the, the fresh data arrives in the, in the database table. 
and once that is set up, you're good to go and you have your fresh data every eight hours. Yeah. Um, if you have any question, uh, drop us a note on the chat or just write us a comment. Thanks.